Hey guys, in this set of videos, I'll be walking through the steps of creating an adaptation of the classic video game Asteroids for Google Cardboard. This game is currently one of my favorites to play on the Cardboard Viewer, and I'm very excited to show you guys how to recreate it on your own. In addition to the, these videos, I'll include a link to the written version of this tutorial set for those of you who want more detailed explanations of what's shown or find it helpful to view the code blocks directly. Well, let's get started! After creating a new Unity project, the first thing I'm going to do is switch the build platform to iOS. I'll then import the Google VR Unity package. If you don't already have this, you can download it from the link provided in the description below. I'm going to import everything except for the demo scenes folder. Next, import the game's art asset package, also available in the video description. It includes the galaxy skybox and model will use the asteroids in the game. After everything is imported, you can find a skybox called stars by navigating to the materials folder in the package we just added. Open the lighting panel and set the environment lights skybox field to stars. The basic camera included in the starter scene won't work for VR, so delete it and drag the GVR main prefab into your scene. GVR main contains the main camera and accounts for all the unique aspects of rendering the player's view for Google Cardboard. Now I'll add a GVR reticle as a child of the GVR main's main camera. In the main camera's inspector, set the camera component's clear flags property to skybox to render our skybox as a background during gameplay. And add a physics raycaster as a new component, which will be necessary for gaze input to work properly. We'll now create a new event system to process player's input. We want to remove the standalone module and add two new input modules for gaze and touch input. We're now going to add four transparent quads as visual representations of the game's boundaries. Start by creating a new quad in your scene. Its position should be set to 150, 0, 0. And its rotation should equal 0, 90, 0. Finally, the scale should be 300 for x, 20 for y, and 1 for z. When you find this object in your scene, you'll see that it doesn't have a material. We'll create one now. I'm just going to name mine Edge because that's what it is. Trains, change its rendering mode to transparent and change its albedo color to a light purple that will go well with the rest of the scene. Its alpha should be set to 34. For the emission color, I'm just going to take the eyedropper tool and copy the albedo's color and just bring down the hue to a much darker color. When you drag this new material onto the object, you'll see that you have a nice transparent boundary. We'll simply duplicate, rotate, and position this quad three additional times to create the three other boundaries. For the first duplicate, we'll change the X position to negative 150 and its Y rotation to negative 90. This new quad should be facing the original in the scene. I'll duplicate the original quad once again and change this new boundary's position to 0, 0, 150 and rotation to all zeros. Finally, I'll duplicate this third quad and change its Z position to negative 150 and its rotation about the Y axis to 180. And that's it! If you haven't already, now is a great time to save your scene and project. We now have the foundation of our game and are ready to build upon it in part two.